Hey y'all, Kid Gravity. It's birthday month, and we all know with birthday month, you get a whole list of content, even more so than I usually upload. But before we get into that, I would just like to thank everyone who's either become a subscriber, a member, or just casually found my videos. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now on to the upload. Keith Lee broke a city. <laughs> Hey y'all, Gravity, any day above ground live it. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Keith Lee, not the wrestler, not the wrestler. We're talking about Keith Lee, the food critic. I don't know if he ever called himself a food critic. He's just a guy who likes to go to restaurants, try the food out, and if he likes it, he gives them a glowing review and their business goes up. I think that is commendable. I think that's commendable. So he recently came down to Atlanta, good old ATL, because everybody was, from what I heard, was requesting him to come to Atlanta because he always asks on his videos where he should go next. So, yeah, he came down to Atlanta. And Atlanta said, you know, well, we're going to put out our best and our brightest. And, you know, Keith Lee will have a great experience down here. But according to him, yeah. Food was great, but there's a lack of service to coincide with this great food that he found in Atlanta. Hmm. I can't believe I actually saw one man break an entire city. I mean, family, they got articles all over the place from little mom and pop websites all the way up to NBC News. They dedicated time and labor costs to talk about what this man said on TikTok. I mean, we even have celebrity restaurants who he reviewed or did not review responding to what he said. Damn. Damn. Okay, Atlanta, I love you to death. I do. But we gonna have to have a very, very frank conversation. And the reason why we're gonna have this very, very frank conversation is because I work in the trade. And I've been down here for about almost three years. It'll be January, it'll be three years. And working in the trade down here, Atlanta, I, I, I love y'all to death, but the service industry in the restaurants, it needs to change. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to have to side with Keith Lee on this. Now, I've worked back of house and I've also been in constant partnership with the front of the house, you know, being culinary management. Family, when I tell you that compared to New York, because I, you know, I lived in New York for over 30 years, 35 years. New York would not pull what Atlanta pulls down here when it comes to things like reservations and customer service. That would never happen. Now, I'm not saying that New York is perfect. I'm not. What I'm saying is mainly I have three gripes with what goes on in Atlanta. I'm going to list them down. Number one, and this this. This is the worst. This is my pet peeve when it comes to service, especially from the front of house. Every restaurant in the world, every restaurant gets visited by the fire department. Gets visited by whatever city or county. If applicable. It gets visited by a department that determines your occupancy. So you can have as low as 30 all the way up to damn near 5,000. Cool. From what I've seen in Atlanta, a lot of these restaurants do not take that into account. They don't factor that in into their service. Now, I'm not saying they don't have this down there because I haven't seen it, but I know from where I've worked in New York, we have sep we had separate departments for large parties or 
we would use those kitchens if we had an overflow of people that we couldn't handle. But mainly what we do is we don't accommodate large parties unless you make a two day out reservation. What do I mean? Some of the things that I heard Keith Lee say. We understand in the trade. And we've seen this. We've seen restaurants take 25 people on a Friday night. Without a reservation, they just walked up. Now, I get it. The economy sucks and everybody's trying to grab every dollar they can. I get that. But you're compromising service, which means that if they hate it, they're not coming back. And I've and I've heard horror stories down here of restaurants, especially on the weekend. That's where it's really egregious. I get Atlanta as a brunch town, but goddamn, y'all y'all restaurants got to cap this shit. Now, if you want to do, if you want to turn tables over, I, I get that. Yes, do your thing, but make sure you can handle it. If I'm doing brunch service, my, my restaurant holds 200, I'm capping that shit at 120. And if I want to turn tables over, yeah, let's do that. But y'all talking about y'all got people waiting an hour to eat who have a reservation? Nah, we can't do that, family. Uh Uh-uh. So I agree with him on that. Number two, this is another thing I've seen. Since the coffee venereal disease has afflicted the world, we've seen people not go out as often. Now, Again, I don't know Atlanta's books like that. From what I've seen, it's not, it wasn't like that because when I was in New York, they did slow rolling opens, you know, 25% capacity, things like that. From what I heard, Atlanta was straight open all the way. Y'all understand your market. You know how people are. You have to cater to the customer. You cannot cater to yourselves. And I'm and based on what he's been saying in his video, it seems like these owners are out here catering to themselves. Because again, you you can't have people waiting an hour and a half for food. For takeout, an hour and a half. Now, if you're popular, I get it. But a lot of these but an hour and a half, I'm gonna go somewhere else. You have a busy ass restaurant. I get it. Y'all know y'all busy. And I know it's tough out here to get competent workers, but you also should take that into account. I would rather y'all have less and go above and beyond. That goes a long way when people write their reviews. Oh, they were shorthanded, but they made the experience amazing. I would rather take that as a restaurateur than I have less And people are saying, oh, my food took 40 minutes to come out. I asked for a salad. It took 20 minutes. In the trade, you you know how that looks. And in three, and and again, Atlanta, I love you. But why are y'all sending death threats to restaurants? Again, I I ask this question because I don't get it. Why would you send death threats to restaurants? Now, I could talk about how it was the wrong restaurant. I could do all that. But it's just a simple fact that somebody went online and posted a response or message to a restaurant and offered up death threats because an online food blogger didn't like the service that he was given. Now, credit to Keith Lee, when when shit like that happens, he calls it out. He distances himself away from it. He doesn't invite that type of energy. Respect to that man. But Atlanta, what are y'all doing? Or whoever the hell wrote it, what are y'all doing? This is us. This is supposed to be black Hollywood, right? This is supposed to be the mecca for black culture, right? Hella HBCUs all over the place. You got all black neighborhoods. You, you've got you've got 
celebrities who used to live in L.A. moving out here for a better quality of life. What are y'all doing? Hell, y'all had y'all had Cardi B come outside. <laughs> Family, y- y'all had. Oh, Lord. Atlanta, how the hell do y'all have Cardi B come outside and go on Instagram going in on Atlanta? <clears throat> I get it. She lives here. But she went live to, you know, it had to be over thousands of people going in on the service in Atlanta. Like, first thing first, right? I feel like Atlanta restaurants, they don't like to make money. I feel like they don't like people. They don't like their customers. They just don't fucking like it. First thing first, right? You could barely order in Atlanta restaurants like you go like hey I would like to make order oh yeah we don't make, we don't we don't take orders we don't take orders it gets to the point that I literally have to name like I have to tell like people that order food for me like can you just name drop my name because first and first they just don't they don't do no pickup orders they don't do deliveries they just don't do shit second Atlanta restaurants right they be closed on the most random shits like it's like you look at a rest you go looking for a restaurant on Google, and it's like, oh, this shit look good. Oh, they closed. What is that? What do you mean? Y'all niggas is closed Monday through Wednesday. Or oh, they'll just have the most random days closed. Like, oh, they close on Tuesday. Or, like, it's just the most random shit. Like, it's like, y'all motherfuckers don't like making bread. Like, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. And then, with some Atlanta restaurants, I be noticing, too, that it's like, it's either, it's either they open it's either the it's either they open too late or they close too early. Like motherfuckers be closing like at six o'clock or will take a fucking will fuck it, it's just it's just insanity. And it's always the the food way is so busy. It's so so busy. Like I feel bad for Atlanta residents. <laughs> Y'all have to go through thank Thank you, Jesus. I'm famous, but even when even me being famous is is it's like a hassle. It's a hassle. Motherfuckers don't like making money out there. Like in New York, in New York, a restaurant is gonna open up early and gonna close up fucking late. They're gonna serve you all the motherfucking time. Like even even with the bougie restaurants, like I. I even with the bougie restaurant, it's not as bad as fucking like the Atlanta service. It's like, like the Atlanta, like it's like it's almost like it's like they treat you like they doing you a favor, like like they doing you a favor. Like y'all want motherfuckers to come back? Y'all want people to come back? It is extremely bougie. Like eating in Atlanta is extremely bougie. And I just I just and I just thought it was me. But now that I see that other people feel that or maybe sometimes so I get it. Y'all got y'all got hyped up because Michelin finally came to Atlanta. And I think it was what 20 restaurants got Michelin stars. Now now y'all now y'all really about to feel yourselves. Trust and believe family. And I'm going to say this with supreme confidence. Atlanta ain't exactly the first place I'm going to go if I want to go to a Michelin restaurant. I'm sorry. When I think of Atlanta, I I want some southern food. I want to go to a place where I'm good. A purpose of a restaurant is to get food that you wouldn't normally cook at home. Things you won't usually buy at the supermarket. Hell, things you can't even get at the supermarket. On a regular basis That's what the purpose of a restaurant is It's supposed to give people a break From standing in front of the stove And especially in the south Where people were weaned on Being in front of the stove Making food for their families You have a bigger obligation To provide the best experience For your guests And all this man did was Open that up and everybody is blaming him and his experiences instead of saying, damn, you know what? We got to change as a culture.
No, I'm not saying everybody did that because from what I heard, Candy Burris, she took it in stride and she's going to improve. But come on, Atlanta. The man said he ain't coming back, so you don't have anything to give you an incentive to do changes except look at your profit margin. Atlanta, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We have a whole hell of a lot of work to do because now him and his words and what's going on with Atlanta, um, ladies and gentlemen, y'all do know that they film a lot down here in Atlanta, correct? Y'all do know this in the metro Atlanta area. You know, they do a lot of filming. Major studios come down here to film. You know that's a lot of money. And we know they have their own catering services, but you also know that a lot of these actors and actresses like to go out and eat. Don't think they not gonna remember Keith Lee said Atlanta's service is something to be desired. I think a reckoning happened and I'm glad it kind of did happen because now we have to look at each other in the mirror. And said we got to invoke change. There can't be two hour waits anymore. That can't happen. You can't have. You can't try to fill up your entire. Reservation log. For one specific half hour. Can't do that anymore. Front of house people. Y'all got it. When y'all take reservations. Y'all got to say you know what. I can't accommodate you. At 7.30, can you do 9.30? It's okay to tell people I can't do it. They respect the fact that you can't handle it. They want, as the consumer, the best experience possible. Come on, I know we can do it. I know we can do it. So let's do it. Now, shout out to Keith Lee. This ain't no hate on this man. Respect to this young man. Do your thing. Provide for your family. I love it. But yeah, we Atlanta, we gotta wake up. We gotta do we gotta This is only gonna make us better. Constructive criticism only makes you better. It's only not affordable for you when you don't wanna take it. But anyway, let me get up out of here. You already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe, because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Take care, stay safe. I'm out. Yeah.